Hello everybody on YouTube and uh, mountain bikers of the world and stuff, uh, uh, mountain bike riders and uh, cyclists in general, but I'm making a video on something I have brought from uh, Chain Reaction Cycles, so um, uh, it's the E13 TRS uh, Plus. Um, this is just like a video, uh, review, more like, you know, my opinion on the product after a certain amount of use. I think it was like four months or uh, probably, yeah, like about four months, I think. Yeah. Four or five months. Um, unfortunately, as I had seen a video on this product and on uh, someone else's uh, YouTube channel and they had the same situation. Apparently, the crank arm, um, the crank arm uh, spindle in uh, uh, crank arm spindle interface got stuck for some reason. I have no idea how that happened. I don't know if it was due to dirt or a lot of a lot, a lot of water or, or it just got seized for some reason. So, um. I wanted to replace it, so when I decided to take it off, unfortunately, I decided to take it off with this special tool that's not really simple. Uh, first of all, you need a, a tool for, the, for, the, um, for this part, so you need this. Then... This is the one that, that uh, this is the one that was in here. That's that's the little that's the one to install the crank. And this is the the removal the removal tool, crank on removal tool, or whatever they call it. Well E13 calls it, whatever they call it. This is not this is not good. Like I don't understand why they did it like this, but I don't. I don't like this because I did it right. This one went in. This one went in here. Then this one goes on the outside. I tighten it real, real, real good all the way. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I, like I screwed it all the way in. And there wasn't no, none of these fucking things, um, none of these things, and I mean not curse, um, none of these things, um, whatever they call it, uh, the, um, the threads, no, none of these threads showing, so I start unscrewing backwards, the in, the inner one, which is that one right there, and then it's supposed to push this to help the crank card come out, but, for some reason it got stuck this thing got stuck the crank arm itself this pushed this all the way out the the crank arm and ruined the threads just like the other guy in the video he, sh he said he went through the same thing it just it just broke the threads so I decided to use this tool because I was like getting you know, agitated because I was like, oh, I got a nice frame, but the thing, the thing is stuck. So, like, I, I wanted to save my, my frame. So, I took this. It got the little piece right there. I grinded it. I grinded it, grinded it, grinded it. It, it was taking forever. So, uh, like, I was, it was taking me, like, two days. Like, it was taking me forever. I was taking breaks in between, but the shit was not grinding enough the metal down. So, I just said, okay, so, what's the next best thing? So, I use this. But before I use this, I had to break that little plastic piece that they had, the APS adjuster. That's another problem with these with this E13 crank, cause it, you know it's not it's not it's not like the the SRAM one. I got uh, I got the the Truvative, the Truvative uh, 
the traders one and this one is a little bit more better better I think yeah, I think it's a little bit better you know this 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 crank was easy to install was easier actually um because um for for some for some reason for some reason this this uh new proof is a uh, seven uh what is it 73 uh, millimeter bottom shell so i watched break chain reaction cycles make a video on on installing the cranks the dub crank set but uh, they was installing the 12 speed and i decided to do the the seven speed because i got a seven speed in the back and one by one by seven that's how i'm running my bike i'll do a bike check on that on another video um so i installed this one so but to get to get this one off i had to cut it so i broke the little um aps adjuster i broke it in in, in half and then i just started cutting it so that's this is the way I took off this crank, but this is the only way you could do it if you got another set of cranks. You can't do this if you're going to do, you're going to try to save this crank and you want to put it back or you re reuse it. Probably you're not going to end up reusing it anyway because it probably if it gets stripped, it's not going to be reusable. Yeah, so, yeah, unfortunately, you know, it wasn't that much of a doesn't that much of a big price when i got it from chain reaction cycles they actually had it on sale so it came in that little box that's how it came it was like open box type deal so um yeah i kind of liked it but uh i decided to take it off and put the the truvative one which i'm i'm kind of happy about plus i got the the um the things but it almost got stripped too this one this side uh when i was installing the pedal with the little, little fucking pedal washer and they, they want to go in straight so i was like all right so no no pedal washers for that and but um i'm gonna do a video on the bike probably in the next video for uh youtube so um uh, the youtube people uh yeah because i haven't done videos in a long time so i decided to oh and this part two stand awesome awesome it's just a little flimsy these things don't tighten up real good so um they get loose for some reason this thing start after a while when you leave the bike on the bike stand it starts leaning this way it starts it starts coming towards like towards me so i don't know maybe part twos didn't do didn't focus good on that but i don't know what it is but I think the other one would have been the the old one was better. I think the ten, the the ten point two was better. I think this is the one that's the the ten point two point two whatever whatever the the newest one that just came out. So that's the 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 thing. Um, I also got some uh, Truvator for uh, descendant uh, handlebars, stem, and seat posts. Um, I got my. Uh, uh trail master from uh, chromag i'm using the chromag handlebars right now with the chromag stem and the uh, chromag uh grips with the with the trp brakes which i'm not happy about but that's a whole nother video so yeah so that's what that's the video on uh the e13 trs uh, uh trs plus uh crank set which I don't know what year model it is. They, they kind of look like the newest ones that they, they have in the website. So I looked up the website. Now I got two chain rings that I can't even use. So this is a 6 mil. Oh, that's another thing. It didn't, it didn't say if it was boost, non-boost, boost, boost uh, or semi-boost or whatever boost. They didn't even say that. So, But this is the non-boost uh, chain ring. And then this is the boost chain ring. 3 mil offset, 6 mil offset. So that's it. That's all I got to talk about. Uh, E13 needs to change that. Unfortunately, I'm not going to buy E13 cranks no more. So that's it. And uh, I, I still like the chain guide though. That's what I'm rocking right now, the E13 chain guide. So yeah, so that's it. Um, they should integrate the, the, the nut and bolt all together. So like that when you have to take it off um it's much easier you don't have to take off the 
any any nut here or or screw or whatnot, and just uh, just help the crank on uh, come off. Cause uh, I think uh, Race Face does it like that. Uh, Hope does it like that now. So um, and the, and the and Chuvative Shram, Shram's cranks all do that. So I don't know. So um. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say. So, peace.